I started out with toy non-GPS, non-imaging quads several years ago and then uh, in 2018 got into the DJI Phantom and Mavic style drones that have the GPS and uh, stabilization and all that good stuff um, to do video projects. Um, but I'd been seeing some really cool stuff from FPV quads and DJI came out with their own imaging and transmission uh, receiver system with a recommended build, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, the build itself is straightforward, aside from dusting off the old soldering kit. And there it is. So, here's my first flight. I'd been using a simulator for a few weeks, felt like I couldn't do too much damage. But boy, does the throttle kick on these things in real life. Uh, when the fine folks on YouTube who have much more experience with this do tutorial videos, I think they tend to not recognize that a lot of their tips still come from a basis of a subconscious skill set they've developed, so the contents didn't translate well for me anyway. It flies up, I throttle down a little, and it goes from rocket to free fall, so then I try to ease up to counter for landing, and it rockets up again. This cycles a few times until I crash on the neighbor's garage. But he was a good sport about it. One lesson learned from that first flight is that, starting out, I probably don't want the battery mounted on the bottom. Yeah, it didn't make it from that first landing, so I ordered a different frame that could fit the same components, but with the battery on top. After putting together the new frame and getting a new battery, I had a few more test flights. I was getting okay, but the controls just didn't seem as intuitive as on the simulation, even specking it out like my build and using my actual transmitter as the controller. I thought maybe I just suck at building, so I ordered a built-in tune quad from Rotoriot. The pre-built drone did handle a little better than my homemade kit, but throttle just seemed too hot. I found some tutorials on how to adjust the sensitivity, and it seems to work better. The next few minutes are just me test flying around a field. You can see that takeoff and landing still need some work, but some of the images in the air are pretty good, if you ignore the fact that I needed to clean off the lens. 